Hello students, welcome once again to our channel Score High to Soar High. In this video series, we have been uploading physics derivations, in other words, 5 mark questions of class 12 physics, unit 2 current electricity of Tamil Nadu State Board syllabus. Today, in this video, we are going to see the first derivation. This is the part 1 of this video series. Come on, let us continue with our studies. Question number one, describe the microscopic model of current and obtain general form of Ohm's law. First of all, we need to draw a neat diagram for it. Here comes the diagram. This is the cross section of a conductor. The cross section of this conductor is capital A. And now we have taken a small length that is dx. So in this length, in this volume of this conductor, we have taken a few electrons. The red color arrowheads represents the direction of the electrons. They are moving with the particular velocity called drift velocity. You might have known what is meant by drift velocity. The velocity of electrons in the direction opposite to the direction of the electric field is known as drift velocity and again this is the small length dx dx is nothing but vd into dt because velocity is equal to distance by time in other words velocity is equal to length by time therefore length is equal to velocity into time so vd into dt that's all about this diagram. Now let us move on to the derivations. Area of cross section of the conductor that is capital A. Number of electrons per unit volume of the conductor that is small n. Electric field which is capital E vector. Then comes the drift velocity of electrons which is nothing but Vd vector. Then charge of an electron that is small e and again as I have already mentioned velocity is equal to distance by time here velocity is equal to length by time here vd stands for drift velocity of the electrons therefore vd is equal to dx by dt therefore dx is equal to vd into dt the electrons present in the volume of length dx that is the number of electrons present in the volume of a length dx is equal to that particular volume into number of electrons that is small n here for volume it is written as capital A into dx that is area into length now let us see how this expression has come for volume here is the cylinder as we all know that the volume of the cylinder is pi r squared into h the height of the cylinder that is pi r squared is nothing but the area of this circular path which gets multiplied by the height of the cylinder which will give the volume of the cylinder in the second case the cylinder is kept placed in a horizontal position so here the volume becomes pi r squared into length here pi r squared stands for the area of this circular path which is multiplied by the length of the cylinder so for volume the formula becomes like this area into length hope you would have understood this concept this is how we get the expression for volume that is area into length so the number of electrons present in the volume of length dx is equal to volume of that particular element multiplied by the number of electrons that is small n. So in the next step a into vd dt into n because dx is equal to vd dt that's how we got this. In the next step total charge in the volume element dq is equal to charge into number of electrons in the volume element so dq is equal to for charge we have written small e 
and the number of electrons in the volume element we have already found it that is a v d d t into n that's how i have written a v d d t into n in the next step current we all know that current is equal to charge by time so capital i is equal to dq by dt so dq is equal to e a v d dt into n divided by dt dt and dt get cancel so what is left out n e a v d that's how we got the expression for current capital i is equal to n e a v d in the next step we are going to find out the current density which is nothing but capital j current density is nothing but current per unit area so capital j is equal to capital i by capital a so j is equal to in the place of i i have written n e a v d by a a and a get cancel so j is equal to n e v d this is the expression for current density now let us write it in the form of a vector so vector form is j vector is equal to n e v d vector here j vector is equal to n e into minus e tau by m e vector because the expression for v d vector is minus e tau by m into e vector in the next step n e into e e square therefore it has become j vector is equal to minus n e square tau by m into capital e vector in the next step j vector is equal to minus sigma e vector so sigma is equal to n e square tau by m so in the place of n e square tau by m i have written sigma here the sign minus indicates the direction of the movement of electron so this minus sign indicates the direction of movement of electron but conventionally the direction of the current in other words conventional current is opposite to the direction of the electrons so for the conventional current we need to change the sign so it has become j vector is equal to sigma into e vector this is the microscopic form of ohms law so with this this video has come to an end let us continue our studies in the next video with another derivation like share and comment and subscribe our channel and click the bell button for more videos thank you